In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most beneficent. So I am awesome. Uh, I am Moroccan. I wasn't born in Morocco. And by my roots, from the Arabic dance villa, I mean my, my ancestors. I'm really happy to see you here with us today in the Green Mosque of Iceland. And currently uh, I am the Imam of this blessed mosque in this blessed country, Iceland. May God keep it safe and give it more prosperity and keep all its people, Icelanders and non-Icelanders, safe and healthy and keep the whole humanity safe and healthy. I mean, this is my second year. I will be my third year in Ramadan, which means after a few days will be my third year here, in the first month of my third year here in Iceland. I like this country too much, thanks to its people who are very f friendly and lovely and very peaceful, very open-minded. Uh, then before, I, uh, my main job was a teacher. I taught in many countries and I am an English, French, Arabic teacher. And uh, a guide for pilgrims in Mecca and Medina Munawwara. Uh, I spent like eight years there uh, as a guide for pilgrims from different countries. And now, because of, of due to coronavirus, COVID-19, so you know the traveling now becomes very hard. Uh, but we're always. Uh, hopeful and we always think positively and we are sure and we trust our doctors and our nurses here in Iceland and in the world and I'd like to thank them from here and all the staff that works in hospitals whether here in Iceland for their efforts to keep us safe and healthy so may God keep them too safe and healthy and may all their dreams come true. I mean, I love seeing the Muslim community grow here in Iceland. Okay, Ashhadu, Ashhadu, Allah ilaha, Allah ilaha, illa Allah, wa Ashhadu, Anna Muhammadan, Rasulullah, Anna Isa. Abdullahi wa Rasul. I testify that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is the seal of his prophets and that Jesus is prophet of Allah and his word. Allahu Akbar. There are almost 2,000 Muslims living in Iceland. That is about 0.4% of the population of Iceland. It's hard to say an exact number of how many Muslims are in Iceland because it's growing more and more. On Fridays, we have Juma prayer that is mandatory for men to pray at the mosque. Even though for women it is not necessary to pray at the mosque on Fridays, I still enjoy visiting the mosque from time to time. Having mosques in Iceland means a lot because I always have a place to pray. If someone cannot pray at home or if they are outside of home, then it's best to pray at the mosque. <laughs> This is the Islamic Culture Center of Iceland. 
It looks just like any other normal building. The mosque is quite small and is on the second floor of this building. The Imam of this mosque is Ahmad, originally from Egypt. This is a commercial building. You can't really tell that here is a mosque and it is also small. This mosque is located in Armule and it's on the third floor. This mosque is called Masjid An Nur. In English, Mosque of the Light. The mosque was opened in 2002. <laughs> Here you can see a drawing of a planned mosque in Iceland that has not yet been built. After long and hard time to get approved, a request from the Muslim Association to build a mosque by Sir Lansbury has been approved at its meeting in 2013. It is not known exactly when the mosque will be ready and it could take up to some years. The mosques help us to stay connected with other Muslims. In Iceland there are not so many Islamic things. Going to the mosque always feels like home to us.